We're now at Wild Turkey. At nine in the morning. Nine in the morning. <laughs> Jimmy, there's the sign. Some of the distillery. In a quarter here. mile, turn right. Oh man. Turkey. Hey everybody, welcome back to Durban's Bourbon. I'm Joe. And I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a review of one of the distillery picks that we got when we went to Kentucky on our trip. We hit the Bourbon Trail, hit a bunch of distilleries, 11 as a matter of fact. One of our first distillery tours we had was at Wild Turkey. Staple whiskey, great product, Jimmy Russell, Eddie Russell, great distillers, distilling family. Um, in the distillery, they had Russell's Reserve, Barrel Proof, Barrel Proof. Single bar Barrel. Single Barrel. Non-chill filtered. Non-chill filtered, 110 proof, um, selected, of course, by Jimmy Russell mm -hmm. and his son, Eddie Russell. Um, it was a tasting in the end of the tour I believe it was included. I think it was. I'm pretty sure. It was. Uh, along with the wild turkey honey, which a fun fact was the first flavored liqueur bourbon put out in the United States was wild turkey honey. It has been rebranded, re, not rebranded, but renamed American Honey. Those of you out there, if you got a cold, little illness need a little scratchy bit of a throat. scratchy throat you need a soft bourbon with some honey I would recommend wild turkey American honey they have an American honey uh, sting which is infused oh, yeah. with peppers it's got Ghost a pretty pepper, good it? yes it got a pretty so good. good kick I got it neat when we were at the distillery because you can when you finish your tour you can have a drink a complimentary drink or something i don't remember if no, we paid for it because you get to keep the glass that's true um i had that in my glass josh had i think it was that i think it was this um we hung around for a while hoping um, among hopes to meet uh, jimmy russell because he was due to come back um, we're going to put in the forefront before this video takes place, before you get to see the actual tasting. <clears throat> we'll put some pictures of the distillery, of uh, Jimmy Russell's cool scooter. I like how you that... tell them that you're going to put pictures in before they see this part. Oh, yeah. You're going to see some <laughs> stuff before. Before so, this, you've already seen it. <laughs> yes. So, uh, i got to figure that out. Sorry, I'm going to throw you off your It's game. all editing. Um, that out. but anyway, uh, it's a great video, uh, great product, great distillery, been around for a long, long time. Uh, the tour was great. The folks were great. And we did not get to see Jimmy Russell. And we did not. Unfortunately, he did not show up before we had to leave and go to another distillery. 
Uh, as I said, we had 11 distilleries in, during that uh, seven to eight year, eight day, I wish year, um, <laughs> trip that we spent in uh, central Kentucky through between Louisville and Lexington and Lawrenceburg all the way down to Maker's Mark, which that's going to be coming at you shortly. Um, so <clears throat> Russell's Reserve, non-chill filtered. That's Single a big one. Barrel, yeah. Single barrel, 110 proof. And, and we believe it's aged, what, seven to nine years or something, eight to nine years? Yeah. I because the other Russell's Reserve has an age statement for 10, 10 years, years, but that's not a single barrel or right. not chill filter. So. so on the color, you can see it's got some, it has some good <clears throat> deep color. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> that right out of the chute's going to tell you it, it's, it's no four-year bourbon. No. Um, it's probably an eight to 12, I bet. It's got a good color. Good legs, pretty slow legs on the nose. Let's see what we get on the nose. We're getting the vanilla and oh, caramel. Caramel. <clears throat> Deep Barrel caramel. char. Yeah. Almost get like a hay, like that rye spice. A little bit of rye. Uh, Wild Turkey uses the same mash bill for their products. It's just a matter of where in the, in the warehouse <clears throat> is it aged, how many years, and so on and so forth for those of you that watch and pay attention to the warehouses and aging and all that and the rick houses yeah i've got that caramel's really strong yeah that's got a lovely nose <sighs> it does a little, gurgle. a little gurgly from lunch yeah for me it's got a heavy caramel a little bit of char heavy caramel yeah. relatively heavy char actually Yep. And there's some vanilla. So and I'm getting a rye. I, I don't know. You're not getting it, but I get a rye. I'm getting that rye spice smell. Usually I don't get that from those. It smells more like hay, kind of, I guess, or grass, but. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> when you kind of neutralize your nose and come back to it. Yeah. There, mm -hmm. It's got a, it has a very pleasant nose. Um. We're both wild turkey fans. Yeah. Josh was a huge wild turkey fan even before I really jumped on the the fence with him. I really jumped in the wagon and said, man, I love this stuff. It's so consistent. <clears throat> He's enjoyed it for years. Yeah. Um, That's why people think it's, it. a lot of people think it's like not good whiskey because it's not yeah. super expensive, but it is, it's a good, darn good whiskey. It Didn't is. It age like eight years or something? Yeah. Yeah, and back in the day, the Wild Turkey 101 used to have an age statement yeah. when it was Austin Nichols, if you're going back in the 80s or so, used to be uh, Austin Nichols, Wild Turkey 101, eight year. Uh, they still adhere to that age statement to a degree. Um, they just want to keep that production out for all of us whiskey drinkers, but it's never going to be put in the bottle if it doesn't fit the flavor profile. I can assure you on that. They're just, they're too geared towards yeah. perfection. Yeah. Nice char, a little bit of vanilla. <clears throat> Classic bourbon nose. A I very think. good, consistent bourbon nose, vanilla, caramel, a little bit of char, a little bit of oak. Uh, Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of cherry, orange, yeah. orange zest. Orange. There, there you go. A little orange. orange. But you're right, heavy on the caramel. Yeah, sure. it is great, great whiskey. I'm excited to try this. I can't recall it. I probably had it when we did our tour. We hit so many places. Um, it's hard to I remember. Think that's why I bought it because we sampled I think so. it, I and think. we were both looking at them, and so. <clears throat> we always decide if one of us grabs a bottle of something that we can't get in our area, uh, being the Pacific Northwest, uh, the, if the other one grabs it, then we're good. Because we know, I can go over to Josh's bar, which we're going to do some videos from there. Um, I can have a pour or a sample, and he can do the same when he comes over here. So really, we have two bars. Between the two of us, we have just one massive bar. So it's good to have good friends. Yeah. I like the nose. Yeah. I'm really, I'm kind of, I'm getting kind of antsy yeah, to try, try it. it. Uh, we hope y'all are enjoying the show. Like and subscribe. We're going to do a tasting now. Give a whirl on the taste. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. 
Oh, it's got some heat. Mm-hmm. Right out of the chute, that first sip I oh, took. Oh, man. So sweet. It was sweet. There was some heat. That vanilla hit. That caramel hit. And that rye yep. that Josh was talking about. That man, rye is delicious. there. Um, but, boy, it gives you that classic, deep bourbon Kentucky hug. Mm -hmm. You give it a swallow, 110 proof, goes down. You can feel it. <clears throat> it's a good, warm, embracing hug. Mm -hmm. um, when we were doing our tours, they call that the classic Kentucky hug. And it is completely true. Mm -hmm. It is. It's not painful. It's warm and embracing. Mm -hmm. Delightful. Um, it is. That is a good whiskey. I think the price, I think it was about 60 bucks. Yeah. Was it? I think. And that's, I got it at the distillery, so I don't know right. if we marked up or down where you're at, but. Uh -huh. uh, I know a lot of t total wines, like over in our neighboring state, there's a total wines. I found it over there, so I know it's available there. That state happens to charge an exorbitant amount for sin tax and all that crap. Uh, so you pay a lot more. So if Josh <clears> was <throat> talking at the distillery, he spent like 60 bucks. Yeah. You're going to spend another 20 bucks in one of those particular types of states. But for a great whiskey, I think that's well worth it. Yeah. I'll probably pick up a bottle for myself, especially if Josh starts getting low on this one. That way we continue having it. Yeah. I'm going to have another it snort. Is. And then we'll see what we got for uh, now that you've kind of conditioned the palate. That barrel char is there. Just that. Yeah, it's like candy. It is. Ah, it's so good. But then it goes from all that sweetness and caramel and, ah, God, it's just like sweet candy. And then, mm -hmm. it's, then you hit the heat, like you said, yeah. and then that peppery rye spice. But it's not dominant. It's not. Like it doesn't overtake <clears throat> like a lot of the, some of the rye. Right. It's just there and it's good. Yeah. Man, uh, it's good. That is surprisingly <laughs> really good. Why didn't I get a bottle of that? I got was some. A... You got you got to try it, and that's all you get. <sighs> my my suitcase was as full as his, so I we just had to pick choice. We had to pick and choose what we were yeah. willing to take back, and I even shipped some boxes back um, via FedEx. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to do that. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? You never know. Do I care? No. <laughs> Um, this is a great whiskey on the palate. you get the, you get the strong caramel notes, that soft vanilla, some char. So you get that aged, that feel of an aged bourbon, non-chill filtered. So you're getting all of the compounds that are naturally in that product. The fatty acids. From the acids grains, the fatty acids and those esters that are taken out from chill filtration. You get all of that. So you're getting such a true... Uh, representation of a classically old bourbon eight to ten years or seven to nine years whatever it is they probably go by flavor profile alone is this fit our flavor profile for what we want to put for Russell's Reserve and when it does then they bottle it and it is a single barrel uh, offering so you're only going to get so many barrels or so many bottles out of that barrel, depending on the age and the angel share, which you all know, uh, you lose 3% on an average of 3% per year. So you're not getting a lot of product at the end of it, even an eight or 10 year, you could have lost 30% out of that barrel um, and they're not cutting it or anything. So it is mm -hmm. the truest version of a barrel bourbon you're going to get just like right out of the barrel basically. right out so <clears throat> as that stands i think this is an amazing product see if you get any like that last sip i just took i got orange in it orange peel it's on strong palate. on the nose yeah yeah you can you can pick up that that orange zest mm. or citrus citrus that citrus note i personally for me i would not drink this with water i would drink it neat just because you get all those classic deep rich bourbon notes that if a bourbon drinker really wants to stick to that solid bourbon characteristics 
I think you get everything out of this particular mm -hmm. bourbon. You get the history and you get the non uh, changed product from a barrel. So, and the heat, <clears throat> I think the heat of the entire proof, since it's 110, mm -hmm. it actually adds to it. Like, yeah. I wouldn't want to take that down for some reason. No. It just seems, it goes, well, they know what they're doing. It goes together yeah. perfectly, I think. It, it pairs very well. And it's an easy sipper. Yeah, surprisingly. At, at no point, y'all watching, did you see us, Mike Grimacing or making a crazy face that it was hard to swallow? Uh, you do get that classic Kentucky hug when it goes down. Um, it's just a warm, inviting hug. It's not painful. It doesn't hurt. If you're a non-whiskey drinker, or particularly a non-bourbon drinker, bourbon by nature is a pretty harsh whiskey when you compare it to your scotches and Irish. But those of you that are that enjoy your bourbon, I think you're going to really, really like this. Um, neat is a fantastic way to have it. You get to experience all the nuances of it, all the characteristics. It's unadulterated. Um, nothing like that is changing it, so it's right out of the barrel. So it, it's as close as you could get to being in the distillery, having a whiskey thief, pulling it out. Having Jimmy Russell or Eddie Russell take that whiskey thief, pour it into the glass, and you smell it. You cannot get any closer uh, to that experience than having this bottle, I genuinely think. Right. Um, which we would have loved to have done that. You got to buy a barrel to do that. It's like 13 grand or something. Anywhere from eight to Fifteen thousand dollars. You do a barrel pick. You go there, meet the master distillers. They pour it, and you do all this cool stuff. Which maybe someday. Yeah. Great whiskey. Super good whiskey. Sixty bucks, roughly. Uh, Sixty to seventy, I'll say. Sixty to seventy. Um, it is available in a lot of markets. Yeah. It's so pretty readily available. From it what is. I've seen. So if if it's in your market, your liquor store, your your regular stores, if you're not a liquor controlled state, and it's in that price range. Um, I would highly recommend yep. it. it. I think sure. it is a great, great bourbon. As classic bourbons go, you can't beat it. Decent uh, mash bill, not too rye forward. You can drink it neat, even at that 110 proof. Um, God, it's got, man, so good. Every sip it's got like a, gets better. Yeah. It really does. As you let you it pick sit up more flavors on up. every sip, you know, like really? first I was getting a lot of sweetness. And then I picked up on the rye, and then yeah. now I'm getting more orange <clears throat> zest and citrus. So, See, I got uh, heavy vanilla as it's sitting here and oxidizes, and yeah, it's good. It's a great, great whiskey. <clears throat> um, we hope y'all are enjoying the show. Remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share us with your family and friends. We definitely hope y'all are drinking with us as you're watching the show. You can always put us on loop and just watch one after the other. That'll really make you want to drink. <laughs> that will. And we hope you are. <laughs> Remember, if you're drinking, drink from home. Don't drink and drive. Uh, that way you can just enjoy us and polish off a bottle or so. Yeah. And then probably not remember. Yeah. The next and watch day. it all again. And watch it all again. Um, anything to add? Nope. Great whiskey. It's good. Yeah, it's a really good whiskey. Great experience. It's one of my favorites I brought back. I, I, I actually agree with you man that is surprising well compared to when we tried it there i i didn't realize it was so and we might so not have good. tried this one they have it might have been just a regular russell's reserve i don't know i think it was this one because there's a reason i wanted to buy it right but. yeah we also got a great uh, recipe out of it which recipe. i made recipe which was recipe. i'll put in recipe recipe i'll put it out in another video great whiskey yep anyway thumbs up for us uh, would recommend getting it if you can for sure grab yep. it it's worth any collection it's worth having and it's a good daily sipper um, no water needed just enjoy it as is it is pure Although Kentucky you could obviously it's pretty hot I think yeah if you don't like that higher proof add water obviously sure you know, like we always say drink it however you want it yeah. but it's we stand up for well in it. cocktails yeah. too oh yeah that'd be a great make a great old-fashioned or a great whiskey sour um, yeah, or just simply on the rocks. That's just a great all-around bourbon. Yeah, let's be honest. It'd be good in anything. <laughs> it absolutely Cereal would. On ice cream. <laughs> you know. you, any way you want to drink it. <laughs> That's right. Which leads us into our clothes. 
<laughs> As always, enjoy your whiskeys and bourbons anyway any way you, like. you like. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, pal. <laughs>